Well, 2023 is more than half over already. I can't believe it. I probably say this every year, but it always flies by so fast. But this means that it's time for a goal update video. So let's roll that intro and get right into my 15 goals for 2023 and how I'm doing. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark, but this video is, while slightly about reselling because I do have business-related goals, it's really just about my 15 goals that I set for myself in 2023. Now that we are in mid to late July, um, by the time I'm filming this video, the halfway point is gone, which means that I need to update you on how I'm doing as of quarter two of 2023. So like I said, I have 15 goals for the year. If you've never seen any of my videos, I do have them categorized. So I have three categories. They are business, personal, and financial. And I have five goals in each of those categories. I try to set SMART goals. It's something I learned at work. It was like an optional course that we could take to get a certification in goal setting um, many years ago and I decided to take it and ever since then I have been very goal oriented and I just think it's fun to kind of see how you progress you know year to year or even just month to month quarter to quarter it just helps me to stay motivated. SMART is an acronym and it stands for specific, measurable, achievable or attainable some people use either term for the a realistic and time bound so i did my best to make sure all 15 of these goals that we're about to talk about fit within the smart goal guidelines i guess you could say so let's get started and the first category we're going to talk about today is business so the first goal here is to profit $30,000 from all of my side hustle. This includes YouTube. It did at one point include Instagram Reels, which is no longer a monetization program for Instagram. They stopped that, I think, around like March of 2023. Kind of disappointing. Kind of really haven't given much thought to Instagram since then because why bother spending or wasting my time? That's how I see it anyway. Posting content to not get paid for it. Um, so, mm. but it also left room open in case I started any other side hustles. Um, so this is all money that's outside of my normal nine to five job. Um, last year, I think I ended at 26,000 because my goal was 25 and I hit that and I went a little over, which is always great. Um, but yeah, 30K for 2023. That works out to about two and a half thousand, twenty five hundred dollars per month. And as of the end of Q2, all of these numbers are as of June 30th. I'm at $10,648.09. So I should be at 15,000 in profit and I'm definitely under that. So I'm trying to get myself in gear. June was really rough for me as far as resale goes, but maybe I can turn this around. As of right now, I'm not super confident about it, but we'll see. Next is to get a red star on eBay, which would mean that I have over a thousand feedback. And I started the year at 870. I am just under by one um, for another hundred on top of that. So I'm at 969 by the end of June. Still hoping I can reach that. I don't think it'll be an issue, um, but if you have any tips for getting more feedback from buyers on eBay, please let me know. Um, my eBay sales have not been great as far as the number of them lately. Poshmark has been king for 2023. It's really weird and kind of starting to freak me out, but I will take what I can get. Um, but hopefully things will turn around on eBay. I can get more sales and then that's more opportunity for buyers to leave me reviews. Next is to reach 2,500 subs on YouTube. I had a goal for 2,000 for 2022. Didn't hit that because I'm still not there. Um, I started the year at 1,621 and I ended the half of the year mark at 1,803. So not quite 200 subscribers so far for the first half of 2023. I've always been a small channel. Maybe someday I'll have like a viral video and I'll get a lot of new subscribers. But until that point, I will probably just continue on this trend, which is totally fine by me. Next is to hit $10,000 in my 90 day total on eBay. 
like I just said a few minutes ago, eBay is not my main bay as of this moment in time. Um, so I started the year at around $5,000 in my 90 day total and have actually gone down to 4,101.32 at the end of June. So not trending in the right direction, but again, maybe if I'm more consistent with listing, things will eventually start to pick up on eBay. And then last for the business category is to thrift at the bins one time per month or 12 times this year. So, so far, at the end of Q2, I've gone six times. It's been six months, so once a month. I think in February, I skipped because February is a busy month with my daughter's birthday and everything, so I went twice in March, I think, to make up for that, but I've been six times. You can check the receipts. There's also videos on my channel of all of the bins hauls, so there should be six of them for 2023. I'm loving it, by the way, because it really overall reduces my cost of goods, and I love to see that. All right, so the next category is the personal one. So first is to go three months without ginger ale. I finished this by quarter one because at the end of March, I still hadn't had ginger ale and I'm happy to say that it's July and I still haven't had any ginger ale, not even a sip. So going strong on that one and it's already technically completed as far as the goal for 2023. The next goal is also completed. Uh, it was to read six books this year. I completed nine by the end of the first quarter and I just finished, uh, the other day I finished two books. So that was 19 and 20 and now I am reading 21. I love to read, it's great. I used to love it as a kid back when they had the Pizza Hut promo where if you read, I think it was like 10 books or something, you could get a free personal pan pizza. I think that's what started my love of pizza and also <laughs> continued my love for reading. So yeah, I'm thankful for that. Uh, next was to join a gym or a fitness class. So this one I'm calling completed. I purchased my Peloton secondhand in March. March 22nd of 2023 to be specific and I wanted to give myself a few months to you know be consistent and make sure that it wasn't just something that I was going to buy and then because it was super new I was going to really go ham on it at first and then just die off um, but I still love it I still love using it I don't use it just for rides I will spin the screen around and I'll do just a general like weightlifting class or I've been doing yoga I've been doing almost nightly meditations and I love it I love the Peloton app can't say enough good things about it so as of this quarter Q2 I am counting that one as complete because it's been over three months since I've used it and I am still using it Next, I am finally considering this completed makeover, the laundry room. Um, technically, it's not 100% finished because I still have to finish painting the bench. I had uh, just primed it and not actually gone over it with the coat of paint that I chose for the laundry room uh, because I knew that my contractor was gonna be coming in to install the shelves, which you saw in my uh, video where I was doing shipping and I talked about how to get through free UPS labels. So if you haven't seen it, I will link it, um, but you can see the shelves in that video, but I knew he was gonna have to step on those shelves to get up there. Um, so I didn't bother painting it cause I knew I was gonna have to touch it up. So that part isn't done, but everything else is complete. Um, maybe in the next goal video, I will do like a before and after photo um, and you guys can see like the whole room in all of its glory. But for all intents and purposes, that one is completed. And then the last one in the personal category is to visit three new countries. And uh, if you haven't noticed, I haven't posted any travel vlogs this year. Um, so that's a big fat goose egg so far. Um, but I do have a trip, a good one, coming up in the fall. Um, so you guys probably won't see an update on a country, a new country that I visited until we get to the quarter four, so at the end of the year. But when I go on that trip, you'll see the videos when they come out, so you'll you'll know. But I'm really excited for it. And Liv's coming too, we're uh, letting her get out of school for a week. Her dad's also coming on this trip. So it's really exciting for her. We don't often travel together. This is only gonna be the second time that him and I have traveled together with her. Uh, her whole life <laughs> so it's really exciting for her anyway let's move on to the financial and again this is the third and last category and 
five in this one as well. The first is to invest 20% of my reselling profits. In 2022, that was the first time I ever decided to try my hand at investing. I still have absolutely zero idea what I'm doing. I basically just throw my money in there at the end of the month when I have my numbers and let it sit there. So as of the end of June, I have $5,110.73 in there. Um, and that also does include what I invested last year, um, but I am keeping up with the 20%. The next one is to make two extra mortgage payments. Um, I started this in 2020 when I first purchased my house except I only did one that year because I purchased it in the smack middle of the year. Um, and unfortunately, I haven't done any of them yet because usually I do one in the first half and one in the second half to kind of space them out a little bit. But with everything that was going on in my life in the month of June, I totally spaced it out. So I technically haven't done any as far as the end of Q2, but one of them has since been made. It's just that it doesn't hit this until we review Q3, if that makes sense. Um, it's just something that I like to do because it reduces the amount that I'm gonna be paying in interest over the course of the loan. No, I'm definitely not going to be here for the whole 30 years. We have plans to get out of Dodge as soon as she graduates high school. Um, but for now, it'll just mean more money in my pocket um, when I do go to sell because I'll have paid more than I was supposed to have for X amount of years that I've lived here. Next is to make, uh, sorry, next is to have a zero dollar balance on my student loans. So uh, I had the balance down to, I think 10, 12,000 at the end of 2022. But then the Biden plan to do the student loan forgiveness came out. And so I took a refund of all the payments I had made during the COVID forbearance. And that was, I think, like $8,000 um, because I was hoping that that was gonna go through and I would have qualified for the 20,000 and my loan would have been less than that even with getting the refund. Um, but yeah, that's not gonna happen now and I'm very disappointed, especially since all of those PPP loans, <clears throat> businesses got forgiven, but you know, screw the little guy basically. So I'm very salty about that, but I don't know. So they're gonna start, I think payments start on September 1st or October 1st, one of the two. And I'm not looking forward to it because that increases my monthly output of bills that I have to pay. So while I do have the money to completely get rid of that balance, I don't know if I necessarily wanna do that. So this one is still on pause, even though I know that the forgiveness is not happening, but that was the goal I initially set in 2023 with the hopes that that was going to come to fruition to have a zero balance. So this one is up in the air as of right now. Next is to continue with my two savings goals that I started in 2021. So one is what I call a 26 paycheck challenge. I get paid bi-weekly and you start with a certain amount. Most people start with $5 and then you increase that $5 for every pay period. I think the last payment is either 130 or 135, but at the end you should have about $1,700 plus interest. Um, the last two years, so 2022 and this year, I started backwards. So I do the higher amount first and then by the time it gets to, you know, the holiday season, I have a little bit less going out for this challenge. Um, and also it helps to get myself a little bit more interest, which is gonna be like pennies on the dollar because <laughs> um, it's not really a large amount and the interest rate isn't high, but it still gives me a little bit more at the end of the year. And then what I do is I take that money um, on January 1st and dump it into my normal savings account. This year it helped to pay for a new chimney and I also had a giant hole in the side of my house that I had to repair and that was a large chunk of uh, that savings goal and also the other one which is what I call a Thursday temperature savings. So every Thursday, as it, the name implies, I take the temperature, I have an alarm set on my phone for one o'clock in the afternoon. Wherever I happen to be at, I will pull up my weather app, 
get the temperature and say i think yesterday yesterday was thursday so yesterday it was 82 degrees and so i deposited 82 dollars in the account i had just over three thousand dollars last year from doing this and this year so far as of the end of june i'm at one thousand four hundred thirty four dollars and ninety two cents so we'll see how that goes at the end of the year but like i said on january 1st i take both of those savings accounts and dump them into my normal one and then the last goal that we're going to talk about today is to open an IRA account for my daughter. So I am trying to, you know, make sure that she is set up for success when she becomes an adult, which is not that far away. I mean, four years, she's already 14. Um, so I just, I want her to start off into adulthood way better than I did because my parents did not know anything about finances. We didn't have a lot of money and... So I kind of screwed myself at the beginning of my adult life because I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing and I definitely did not do the right things. I had a lot of credit card debt and I just wasn't good with money and I want to do my best to make sure that she, at least as far as what I can control because obviously when she's an adult, she's an adult and she does her own thing. She makes her own choices and I have little to no say in those choices um so i'm just doing whatever i can to kind of set her up for success and then she can take it from there and do what she will um, but i do want to open up an ira account for her so she has a little bit of you know like a little nest egg to start off with so those are my 15 goals let me know in the comments down below how your goals are doing if you set goals for yourself if you don't if you kind of have like a general idea of what you want to accomplish in a year um some people succeed that way some people don't i definitely feel like i do better when i have them written down and i have something tangible that i can look at and kind of see how my progress is going and it's just really fun for me so i know this is outside my normal reseller content but it does kind of relate to reselling in a way with the business category which is why I do those first every time I do one of these videos because in case you don't care about my personal or financial goals, you could just click off after that. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it at any point, please give it a big thumbs up or maybe if you just want to support me in my journey to accomplish these 15 goals this year, um, I would love and appreciate that. Also, if you are not already subscribed, please help me hit my 2,500 subscriber goal and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.